Okay, so my name is Anna McQueen. I'm a fourth year medical student at UTHSC College of Medicine in Memphis, Tennessee. And today I'm going to be talking about investigating the impact of patient-based sexism in medical training. Um, so to kind of give some background on this study, essentially, so I'm a fourth year student and I've been in clinical rotations for quite some time now. And I noticed this pattern of every time I, you know, introduced myself with a patient or was talking to a patient, I was consistently assumed to be the nurse in these interactions, no matter kind of how I introduced myself. Um, so that's the basis of this study. And I noticed this common pattern and wanted to look more into this. So for some background, despite more female physicians in training now than ever before, existing literature shows that medical students continue to experience sexism within the clinical evaluations, within the opportunities that they're offered in their clinical rotations, and then also in their workplace relationships. And so though, although many students recognize that this is an issue in medical training, there isn't a bunch of research on this topic. So this study aims to kind of investigate and quantify the extent to which medical students experience sexism from patients in their clinical settings. So the way that we went about doing this was that we designed an anonymous survey that was sent via email through first through fourth year medical students at UTHSC. So the study was both designed and sent through Qualtrics software and all responses were recorded anonymously and all the data was stored within Qualtrics as well. So the survey consisted of 15 multiple choice questions and then two optional free response questions as well. So students had the opportunity to share any experiences that they have with sexism from patients, but those two questions were not required. So in terms of the results that we got here, so the survey, we now have more results than this. This was kind of some preliminary data when I submitted the abstract, but initially yielded 58 responses, 41 of which were female and 17 that were male. And so these results showed that 91% of students recognize sexism as a problem that medical, problem medical students face in clinical settings. And more specifically, 93% of female students and 24% of male students responded that they have personally experienced sexism from patients. 85% um, of female students report being frequently mistaken for a nurse or nursing students, even after clear role introductions. Only 18% of male students reported being mistaken for any other healthcare role, but specifically no male students reported being mistaken for nursing staff, even though they were occasionally mistaken for other healthcare roles. And it was never a nursing staff. And then 66% of female students and 35% of male students received frequent comments about their appearance or family planning from patients. 63% of females and 18% of male students were subjected to inappropriate or sexually suggestive comments. And then one of the big things that we wanted to do in this study was kind of do a frequency analysis or show how often these experiences were occurring. Because this is, you know, again, we had no data really to base this project on. So our analysis showed that 7% of female students encountered sexism from patients weekly, 41% experienced this monthly, and 46% was on a yearly basis, and only 5% of female students reported never experiencing sexism from patients. In contrast, 71% of male students report never experiencing sexism from patients, and then 29 experienced sexism yearly, but no male students reported monthly, weekly, or daily occurrences of this. And then some additional data that couldn't quite fit on this slide is that 36% of female students and 5% of male students reported that experiencing sexism in clinical settings ultimately affected their self-confidence and their medical abilities and, you know, the information that they were sharing with patients and their just clinical skills in general, what affected their confidence there. And then 38% of female students and 15% of male students report that experiencing sexism in clinical settings actually affected their choice of medical specialty and kind of what they wanted to do with their career in the future. For some of the free responses that we got, um, so the first three here are from female students that say, I cannot express the countless amount of times I've been referred to as a nurse, both as initial expectation and after clarifying my role to the patient. Um, I'm often referred to as darling, hun, sweetie. Um, I've been told several times, you don't look like a doctor. And patients think I'm a nurse nearly every single day. Another stated that patients often ask if I'm the male attending or resident's daughter or wife, even when I wear my white coat. And then in contrast, this is a response from a male student that said, I'm often mistaken for the doctor, even when I clearly state I'm a medical student. My female colleagues are often mistaken for nurses, and there is a difference here. So in conclusion, although both male and female medical students experience sexism from patients, their study shows that female students are disproportionately affected by this. And it aligns with existing literature about the clinical evaluations and educational opportunities, workplace relationships, all that. Female students were also disproportionately affected. 
this kind of adds another layer that not only is there discrimination and grading and all of that stuff, but actually patients um, are leading to this as well. So obviously findings call for systemic change and policies that protect students, specifically female students, from sexism from their patients and foster inclusive learning environments. One of the biggest recommendations that we had and were received, um, received frequently in the survey was adding badge tags. At UT, we don't have any badge tags that say medical student. And so at a lot of our hospitals here, we have badge tags that say doctor, nurse, and that kind of stuff. But we don't have any that say medical student. So we would like to implement that here at UT. And then also educating faculty and residents on supporting students. And I had another quote in the free response section where a student responded that they had an attending that corrected a male patient for calling them a nurse. They explained their role and why it mattered to call them by the appropriate title. And they really appreciated it. Felt like it led to a difference in patient care in the relationship that she had with the patient. So I think just, you know, encouraging staff. And then another big thing that came up frequently in the survey was working um, to implement women in medicine groups that can meet frequently and kind of discuss how different providers, older and younger, deal with comments like this on a daily basis. But essentially, that's my study, short and sweet here. And then these are my references. Are there any questions?